you guys are having a wonderful day making some really good trades and yep we can see that Bitcoin right now is uh, come back down to 40 uh, sorry come back up to 48,787 very impressive pump back from 46,000 looks like we are holding the screen support box as a uh, as support right now quite strong but I really want to see if Bitcoin to be bullish one, once again and, you know, making new all time highs. You know, we got to break through these EMA, EMA ribbons on the daily time frame. We are in, in a bit of a bear trend right now. Uh, you know, a push right through to, you know, 57 would obviously be very bullish. But, you know, with even with the FOMC meeting today about hiking rates and the market rallying back up to 35, 989 on the Dow Jones. And same thing for the SP 500. Huge rally today after that meeting. You know, the, the fundamentals have not changed. You know, this is just, in my opinion, this is just talk from the Fed that they're going to be raising rates. But for them to say one thing and to do one thing is different. If they start to double down on the taper and the taper is accelerated, you know, you're going to have an adverse reaction in the market. And, you know, nothing's, not every, you know, if you start pulling away from you know money from the market and stop the bond purchases and then you start to hike rates you, you know it's it's not business as usual market doesn't keep going up just like that you know you're going you're going to see you know businesses start to incur significantly more losses you know all the all the all the revolving credit is going to suddenly shoot up to, to crazy levels you know you, if, if inflation's at 6.8% you can't just have a couple quarter point rate hikes to fight it, you know? If you have six, seven, seven percent inflation, okay, and you raise the rates by 0.25%, okay, what are you gonna do? What is that really going to achieve? What do you expect? <laughs> you know? Obviously it's not just one, you know, they said three, they're gonna raise it three times during the year. I believe up to one one point one one percent or zero point seventy five percent, but still, even then, what what is that gonna do when inflation is going to keep rising? Anyways, moving along, <laughs> we're gonna stop talking about that. We're gonna get back on market analysis on Bitcoin. For the time being, uh, we have a bit of a downwards uh, downwards resistance right here. As we can see, we got two touch points right there. If Bitcoin goes back up to forty nine thousand eight hundred, maybe retests it and breaks up from there then yes I would be bullish once again maybe even breaking through these levels right here as we can see you know we got a big big downwards trend line as we can see and some big resistance coming at 53 52,000 so I want to see those levels broken before I get bullish once again but for the time being we are holding 46,000 quite well I'm quite impressed with these levels I did not think that they would hold so strong you know for so long but the uh, 47 maybe could be the bottom for the time being. But uh, yeah, I just I just want to see more market development in the traditional markets. You know, we did see everything sell off today. Uh, sorry, everything shoot up after you know da trending downwards all day long. You know, big rally towards the upside. But let's be careful, guys. We still have that you know that monthly red dot on Bitcoin let's just go take a look at it right here quickly we still have that this big red dot on the monthly time frame for the DBSI and on the weekly time frame we still have a 9 and a 0 obviously it's starting to slow down but this doesn't this doesn't mean that the bleed cannot continue I am bullish on Bitcoin in the long term but we want to see in the short term what's going to happen because the bleed could keep going towards the downside and we could bleed down slowly anyways hopefully this analysis helps you guys. Let's just take a look at uh, the hash ribbons quickly. We are starting to inch closer. Uh, not too much. We still have a lot of room for the hash ribbons, but uh, let's just be careful, guys. We don't want to close our position too early. Obviously, 8% is nothing. If you guys took some profits at 52%, then that would have been really good, and congratulations for you guys. For the time being, I'm still holding my trade, and hopefully we go back up to the to the $68,000 levels and shoot up towards some new all-time highs. The bull run isn't over, but we definitely want to be careful, guys. Anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make some really good trades, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.